at the end of the day, uh, her party has uh, her, its roots in uh, uh, in neo-fascism. That's that's sure. That's for sure. But at the same time, uh, she's very well aware of the fact that um, that we are in a different era right now. And uh, and I agree, her platform looks pretty much like uh, uh, the one of an extremely conservative uh, party. So if, you know, all there's all this talk about Italy going back to fascism, of course, this is not the case. We are not discussing, um, you know, a crisis of Italian democracy. Uh, we are talking about uh, a party that is certainly uh, much more right of the uh, center than uh, than what we have had in the past few years, uh, but whose uh, whose program um, is pretty much in line with uh, with uh, any far right populist party you you find around these days. I wouldn't qualify the result obtained by the Democratic Party as a total disaster in the sense that it was pretty much in line with what they got in the last election. And I wouldn't even qualify the uh, result of Giorgia Maloney's party as a landslide victory. The, the reasons behind these results uh, are to be found in Italy's electoral system. So the electoral system um, gives a huge bonus to parties that create a coalition and penalizes uh, parties that do not create a coalition. So the left was divided, and uh, we saw that actually the faster movement on the left side, which classifies at this point as a left-wing uh, party, did quite well. Um, but again, the Democratic Party and uh, the faster movement were not allied. Hence, the sort of the the low number of seats that they're going to be uh, assigned. On the other hand, on the right wing of the spectrum, we do have a coalition. Uh, which means that um, they, they have a solid majority in both chambers of, of the parliament. And this is certainly an important development uh, in, in Italian politics. We are witnessing the return to actual politics after um, some years that were perhaps characterized by this cult for, uh, you know, cult of technocracy in a certain sense. Uh, embodied by, um, in particular, uh, Mario Draghi, the uh, last prime minister.